Hoyoverse recently got its music copyright stolen by a scammer. And now, lots of Genshin Impact content creator like Takajiji and many more has to pay the price. Alright, so what happened? Well, it appears that some random guy from YouTube just claimed lots of Genshin Impact music and copyright claim lots of YouTubers including the well-known Takajiji who are using the songs on their video. So, basically, this Herschel Nader guy uploaded a Genshin Impact music, rename it with a wacky name like Funny Moment, Goofy Team, Good Life, and then copyrighted it, causing anyone who used it got copyright claim. I mean, here, try to listen to this beach waltz. Now, please tell me if this sounds suspiciously super similar with the Genshin Impact music, Duel in the Mist. Wait a minute. This is not sound similar. This sounds the same because it was the same music for crying out loud. But yeah, this is not the first time either for YouTube that someone copyright claims something that isn't his or her. Because just a few months ago, Bungie, an American video game company who developed popular games like Halo and Destiny, suing a Destiny 2 YouTuber who allegedly struck back at the DMCA takedown by filling a false DMCA account on Bungie's behalf and taking down video from another YouTuber. My question is, is it really that easy to fool YouTube about copyright claim? I mean, it happened twice in just a short span of few months. As of now, the Herschel Nader channel has taken down all of his video for the Genshin copyright, and content creators have said that the claim has been removed. So, I guess all's at well this time. But hey, what do you guys think? Share your thoughts on the comment section down below.